Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow. So we recently did a blog post about replacing your slide. Um, we gave some instructions in there and, and took a lot of pictures, but I still think a video is helpful. So uh, we'll do a quick video where we, uh, we go through the whole process and if there's little tips and tricks along the way um, to keep you out of trouble, I will share those as well. Um, so we're gonna do it you know, with um, the right tools, uh, but I'm gonna kinda also show you, like you can get away with the wrong tools. Um, we make the point in the post, like you really should buy a channel liner tool and that's, that's true. Um, but for those who don't wanna spend the 10 bucks, I'll show you how to do it, you know, the wrong way this time, just so you have it in your bag of tricks. Okay, so um, we'll start first just with a reminder on, on the process as, as far as disassembling the gun. Uh, first, of course, you need to clear the gun, so remove the magazine, make sure it's empty. Um, you'll pull the slide to the rear and you'll look down inside the chamber and confirm that there is no ammunition. Um, if you really wanna be really deliberate about it, you lock the slide to the rear and feel in there. Okay, but fundamentally, no magazine, no ammo in the chamber. Okay, we'll disassemble. Um, you'll start by uh, dry firing the pistol in a safe direction, and then you just need to take the slide back a tiny bit. When people screw this up, it's that they've just pulled the slide back too far. So just like that, a little tiny bit, pull the takedown lever down, and off it comes. We'll show that one more time. So we, you've, you've just dry fired the pistol, the trigger is to the rear, just a little tiny bit, pull it down on both sides, making sure it's kind of seated, and then off the top end comes, okay? All right. So uh, you'll then remove the uh, recoil spring assembly and barrel, and we've now field stripped the pistol. Okay, so the gun, or the slide that we'll disassemble now is, is this one. Um, we're gonna show it kind of two ways. We'll show it disassembling the slide and reusing the parts, and then we'll show it with our own completion kit. Uh, but the first part of the video, we'll just be taking apart the old slide. Okay, so when you look down inside the bottom of the slide, right here, you can see a little plastic part poking up. That is the back of the spacer sleeve. So the first step in, in disassembling the gun is to push that down. It's under spring tension. So you'll push that down like this. Now, this is a proper Glock tool. Um, just for fun, I'll do it with a key just to show you that it can be done. So you'll stick that key in there or whatever you got. You'll push it down and then you start to move the uh, cover plate off the back of the slide. Now there's some spring loaded stuff in there. So just be cautious. Um, you'd have to slide it off really fast probably for it to actually come loose but, um, and fly out, but just be careful. All right, so now you have the back of the firing pin assembly and the back of the extractor depressor plunger assembly poking up. It's pretty easy from this point. You'll just pull out the firing pin assembly as one complete unit. Um, you'll now pull out the uh, extractor depressor plunger assembly as one complete unit. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do it at that angle. That'll come out as one piece. And then all that's left now is the firing pin safety and the extractor. So all you do here is push down the firing pin safety with your thumb from the inside and then give the slide a little shake and the extractor will come out and you slowly let up on the firing pin safety. You'll see it has a spring underneath it. Turn the slide upside down and there that is as well. Okay, so we've now fully disassembled the slide. The only thing that remains inside the slide is what's called the channel liner. So the firing pin is, um, is surrounded by a polymer channel. This is a new channel liner and you will need a new one even if you're reusing your old parts, okay? So the channel liner simply goes over that spring assembly inside the slide and it's a one-time use part, okay? The good news is they're pretty inexpensive. Okay, so we'll we'll now set all this stuff that we just dis disassembled aside and we'll work from a completion kit just to kind of show you um, what, what it would look like if you were if you were starting with a completion kit. Okay, so uh, there's some pre-assembly required and that's what we'll show you now. So here we have a Shadow Systems completion kit, beautiful machine, stainless steel parts. Um, uh, oops, I missed a spring, I was, there it is. Uh, machine stainless steel parts for your firing pin, your, your safety, and your depressor plunger. Um, the springs are all made to shadow specs. They're plated. We have our spacer sleeve, our channel liner, all that good stuff. Okay, so for purposes of this demonstration, we'll put together this slide, and we're going to start by assembling the firing pin assembly. Okay, so um, this would be this part. We're going to put that together. So we'll start by taking our, our spacer sleeve. That's the shorter of the two tubes, if you will. 
and it drops over the um, firing pin like this. And you want to make sure that the back of the firing pin rides down inside that channel, okay? Conveniently, the back of a Glock slide is the perfect place to complete this assembly. So the remaining parts that go in the firing pin assembly um, include the two little tiny spring cups and the striker spring. So that's what you're going to put on the firing pin. So you'll take your firing pin uh, spring or striker spring and you'll grab one of your spring cups and you're going to use your finger to compress the striker spring and place the spring cup around the barrel of the firing pin like that. So you've got one on there and then now you're going to place the second one. So when they're together, they form a complete circle around the firing pin. Okay. And that keeps the spring in place. Now, one other check you should do, and you won't be able to see it here, but you want to you want to avoid the case where the end of the spring is in contact with the um, uh, the place where the cups come together. So you want the spring to be offset a little bit, and that just kind of makes sure um, that it's not putting uneven pressure on one side or the other. Okay. So we've got our striker spring assembly complete. Um, now let's put together the, uh, the extractor depressor plunger assembly. So that would be this guy, okay? So we want this guy now. All right, so I'm gonna take the spring first and I'm going to use a hard surface to compress it into position. So you'll kind of hold it like this and then just push down. I realize it's hard to see. Push down until it's flat and this one's Still poking up a bit, so I need to push a little harder. Almost there. Uh, that should be good. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to snap the other end onto the back of our uh, depressor plunger. So you just kind of, once again, get it started, and then it'll snap in place. And when it's complete, it should look like this. Okay? All right. Let me show this nice and tight. There. Okay. Um, next, we're going to pre-assemble our firing pin safety, and that's just pretty easy. You take the firing pin safety, you put its little spring in, it's kind of going to catch once it's in there, and you're done. All right, now we assemble. So the first thing to do is to put in the channel liner. Now, if you look at a channel liner, it's going to have one side that's a little more tapered than the other. The tapered end goes down first. Um, frankly, it doesn't matter that much. It'll work either way, but that's the preferred way you should use a channel liner tool. Okay, the channel liner tool prevents damage to the channel liner. You should use this to push it in place, okay? Um, you can use, you shouldn't use, but you can use an 11 30 seconds drill bit. So the important point is just not to crush the channel liner. So you push it in until it stops, okay? Something like that. And then it's seated in place. Um, next, we're gonna put in our uh, extractor. So it just drops into the notch on the side. Um, actually, excuse me, we gotta put our firing pin safety in first. Yeah, put our firing pin safety in first. You'll hold it down with your thumb and you'll notice in the side of the slide there, you wanna make sure you've created space for the extractor. And you'll drop the extractor in and the extractor will lock it in place. All right. Real easy now, take our firing pin assembly, stick it down the hole, right? Take our extractor to pressure assembly, push it down in there, and then now all we have to do is add our cover plate. So to install the cover plate, you'll just kind of get it started. You'll have your thumb behind it like that so you can push it in place. And then you'll use, um, I'll use the Glock tool this time. I'm sure I could use a key as well if I wanted to. Get that started. Now it's stopped against the back of the depressor plunger assembly. We'll push that down as well, and we'll slide it into place ensuring it seats and clicks into place. And now the slide is fully assembled, okay? The striker should move freely inside the channel. Um, the, the, the correct technique to confirm that is to take your thumb, push down on the firing pin safety, which should free up the striker and then give it a shake. So it should move like that. It shouldn't completely hang up at all. In fact, a few, uh, there it goes. As I move it around a little bit, it'll it'll loosen up a little bit. There it goes. Okay, um, and so now we've we've fully assembled the slide. It's good to also just kind of like give the extractor a couple pushes, make sure you have decent tension on the extractor, and we do. 
And uh, at that point, the slide is, is fully assembled. So we can take our original barrel. And uh, it just occurred to me, this is a Gen 4 slide that I picked up. So we would then take our Gen 4 uh, assembly spring and lock it in place. And then you could reassemble your, your pistol, okay? But that is the process of putting the internals from one slide into a fresh slide or from a completion kit into a fresh slide. And then at that point, it's as simple as reassembling your gun um, like you would after cleaning it. All right? So I hope that was helpful. Um, if there's questions, we're always happy to answer them. Give us a call.